kiungo furika na kiungo sisho mane sisho mati chingo kunda mwenga ano kunda sisho mane sisho mane sisho mane sisho mane Zisisa, zishoma ne zishoma kuzika yako zinu tuwa kunya tuku zisisa netoni ne language zose zon profita zishoma ne zishoma zishoma ne ne zishoma ne zishoma zishoma ne zishoma ne zishoma zishoma ne zishoma zishoma ne zishoma zishoma ne zishoma ne ne zishoma ne Zishoma ne, oh, zishoma ne, zishoma. Zishoma ne, isheva no uya, zishoma ne, zishoma. Zishoma ne, oh, zishoma ne, zishoma. Zishoma ne, oh, zishoma ne, zishoma. Zishoma ne, bendari no pera, zishoma ne, zishoma. Zishoma ne. Kuchifama 900 Jika zikama 700 Iko zino zwa kuma 200 Saka ili kungo pira ayo Zishoma ne zishoma Zishoma ne ne Zishoma ne zishoma Zishoma ne ne Oh zishoma ne zishoma Zishoma ne ne Maka
our dear heavenly father sure it has been long how we long to be here Lord we love you we appreciate you father we have come to worship you we have come to hear from you your children are watching they are attending while they are at home father may you bless this service and bless each and every one of them heal the sick grant the need lord you are the same yesterday today and forever bless our pastor as he is going to minister unto your children bless the hearer and everything that is taking place here may the angel of the lord come in our midst in the name of jesus christ father we commit this service in your hands in jesus christ's name amen We're just going to sing this song. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear their cry and I will heal the land. Amen. But the devil is always busy trying to destroy and to deceive. But don't you know what God said to his people? To all of us who confess to believe that he is God.
Zimbabwe.
journey is completed If to him you have been true Fair and bright your home in glory Your enraptured soul will view My brother just hold Hey, 
this day's lies a city for square each shall never pass away and there is no night there God shall wipe God shall wipe away away there's no death no pain
Jesus signs. Jesus signs. This precious place was bought for me by Jesus' blood shed on the cross. He died for me on Calvary to set me free and make me whole. There's a That hiding place, my weary soul shall find rest, and I will join that heavenly band by Jesus' side, by Jesus' side. There's a shelter. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is our joy to come back to the house of the Lord. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'll be in their midst. So saith the Lord. My brother, my sister, we will, are worshipping a living God. We are living in a situation where sometimes you think I'm all by myself. I'm left alone. And yet, there is a host of angels that are around you. My brother, my sister, as usual, before we hear the word of God, 
we normally want to give out the testimonies of what God is doing in our midst. Um, just about a few, I can say two weeks now, a sister called me, Sister Mufuze from Botswana. And she said a few things. And then she says, Pastor, I've called you. My husband has turned blind. He has been blind for a while. And I have been trying to convince him maybe to ask for prayers. We have consulted doctors and the bills that are being demanded by the physicians and doctors in South Africa. And I said, but you have cars. Can't you sell one of the cars or something like that? And she said, brother, it is just too much. I said, okay. When he comes back, can you too call me? And then they called. When they called, I spoke to Brother Mfuze. I said, Brother, why are you suffering when there is a living God in our midst? Is anything too hard for the Lord? You see, the problem is normally you are viewing your problem as something that is not able to be solved and then i said look i will pray for you i said let's pray after prayer when he opened his eyes i heard a scream i can see i can see i said hold on um, sister, can you do some signs before him? Either making circles or whatever you are going to do. Let him and ask him what you are wearing. And he and she did that. There was pandemonium. <laughs> my brother, my sister. Sometimes God does these things for us to know. That don't look in your situation and say, this is just too much. It can be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then they, I, 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 I hung up the phone. Then the following morning, I called. How are you? And he said, ah, brother, when I woke up this morning, I couldn't see. I said, what? I couldn't see. I prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, he is seeing. I spoke to him last night. He is able to see, even to read the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many, 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 many testimonies. You see what I've, I've made a mistake? I was writing them down in my book. And I left the book at home. <laughs> but I can recite some of them. Just like last night. I was preaching for Brother Ngwenya on YouTube. On, uh, on the, YouTube. After I, pre I, I finished, it was around half past nine. 
I received a call from a sister and said, my daughter has been attacked. Um, she's, she's screaming and I could hear the scream. Screaming is a person who has been stabbed or something. And I said, what is happening, sister? Uh, she couldn't speak to me. Um, but I was speaking to the mother and she said she was complaining that there is a pain just uh, on the side of the tummy and she's struggling even to breathe I prayed for almost 30 minutes and she was crying crying until I felt what is going on here and then all of a sudden she went quiet and then I asked the mother what is happening and she says that she's just gone quiet and she is like collapsed no no she was lying on the floor and I mean she was like someone who's just fainted or something like that I said don't worry it's all done and that is it she's healed many many other testimonies a brother called me a few days ago I can't breathe I'm dying and he was crying in that dying uh, 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 kind of a condition I don't know what is going on brother. I'm dying I can't breathe I said are you afraid to die he says no I, 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 don't, I don't want to die don't accept to die. And uh, we prayed. By the time I finished praying, I could hear the rejoicing. The rejoicing. He, he was just rejoicing. Then he called me and said, Brother, I'm completely healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children that were in hospital, completely healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people from America, South Africa, South Africa, England, England, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, Jesus and forever. Christ. When I come back next week, Pandicha, we are next week. I will bring my book. You see, I'm not mentioning names. Because sometimes when you have not spoken to the person that I'm going to give your testimony, then people will possibly feel a bit uncomfortable. People that were hospitalized, even outside of this country, with a very, very serious condition of COVID-19. COVID of almost a point of death. But completely healed. Don't worry my brother, my sister. Our God is more than able. Don't leave it like that. Don't leave it like that. Many challenges that come to us. Uh, maybe. Why did that situation come? What does that situation want from you? God is good. God loves you. God loves you. I don't care where you are. If God can heal someone in America over the phone, 
Muna akarara otomuka for the first time kugara. Someone who was lying down and rise up. Aita je kwiswa phone panzere. And someone had to put the phone on that person's ear. Kwa kuna matatiri kuno. And then we pray from here. Muna ototanga kumuka ipapo kugara. And the person rises up and starts to sit. Otaora kuti and says i'm feeling much better something has left me something has left me there is a god out there hallelujah my testimony i'm telling you about two weeks ago i went to the farm i was with some brothers from here while we are in the car there were three testimonies they were three testimonies they were all foreign Uh, one was from Australia. One America. One from South Africa. Until the people I was say, brother, the same was same Zuro, Nas, yesterday. Today and forever. Don't live If you leave it unresolved, the devil is bullying you. He will say he will be saying you, you, say it. It. you are even afraid to say it. Whatever situation that you are in. It doesn't matter. God is still more than able to heal. He is still more than able to con To, 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 to drive the devil away. Satan The devil is afraid of you. When you are just walking along, he is afraid of you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So don't let the devil bully you. This uh, morning I will leave it here. And then my testimony machine and all the other testimonies which I details our with all the details I will bring them. While we are waiting for the word today. With the few words. I and up I hammer zangu ndo arikungoitika mazuva mashoma shoma. This is what has just happened in the recent Ma ndakango developer kamwe katsika kuti munhu akati ndi namatira iyo. I have developed where someone says ndichikopedza kuna matano andati zvase zvase. As soon as I pray I said how is it? Munhu utotanga utotaura kuti nda right. And the person says I'm not usanye pesa tana ari kukunzwa. Don't lie. The devil is listening to you. Chokwa ndinda topora ndichisina kana na mudziko. I am here with no problem. Tocho kwadi ocha cho chiringe chitori. And that will be the truth. God bless you. Mwara ukomborere. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows in my veins. And I was raised and poor now can see praise God praise God I may say of the king oh yes oh yes I may say of the king royal blood now flows in my face and I he was red and poor now can see Praise God Praise God I may say Let's raise our hands
Yes, oh yes. Oh yes. I'm a child of the king. His royal blood now flows in my veins. And I, he was wretched and Praise God, praise God, I'm a child of the King. After such a long time, at last, things are moving in the right direction. Amen. Amen. We want to thank God that he has brought us this far. The whole world is going through a terrible ordeal. It, it has never passed through such a, such a phase. But we want to thank God that we are still there and we are still in the faith. Though we are scattered and separated, we do not see each other, we do not feel each other, but we believe soon and very soon it will be over and then we'll be back to normal. I believe it's like a bell that is rung on those long distance runners. Long distance runners, when they are coming to the final, the last round, they ring a bell to tell them that whatever you can do, do it now. Now that bell has been rung. We are going to sing as we never sang before. We are going to pray as we never prayed before. We are going to preach as we never preached before. We are going to testify as we never testified before. Because we have been given an extra time. Because time is really up. Somebody sent me a clip of what I preached in 2012. I was shocked by what I preached. The thing called inspiration. It is even beyond the preacher himself. The prophets who prophesied by inspiration, what they said was beyond them. They had no reason to say it. But it's called inspiration. Hallelujah. Even you singers, you get inspired. Even those who invent things, they get inspired. Everyone that's here on earth is here for a specific purpose. And in your specific area, you have a line of duty, you have a post of duty, and you have a lane of operation. You must not foul another person in his lane of operation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are over here, way out in Africa here. We are supposed to be all dead by now. If all that we have and the way things are, the way people look at it as it should be, we should be all dead. But we are still there. God has a way. He has a way of looking after those. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, like brother, te, brother Doty was testifying. So much has been going on. So many people are getting into distresses. Sometimes someone is cornered. And he quickly calls for help. I know in the bush they are crazy and clumsy animals. The manga manga. Yeah, Foolish animals. Like the gnu. Say, the blue wild beast. Blue wild beast at all. Somebody said it was uh, it was assembled from, from, from spare parts. 
One of them will be caught and eaten while they are looking. But the buffaloes, once they hear the distress call, they come and the lions will be in trouble. When we hear a distress call, when we hear the distress call, something comes upon us. Hallelujah. And then we move into action. And then things happen. If you don't have faith in us, you cannot call us. But if you do call us, we act. Because we did not appoint ourselves. God will not disappoint those he appointed. If he has appointed you to something, he will not disappoint you. Because he has appointed you. If he called you to do something, he gives you the anointing and he gives you the power to do the very thing. God believes in total deliverance. If he makes you a prophet, he makes you a total prophet. If he makes you a preacher, a total preacher. If he makes you a mother, a total mother. A mother has got power over her children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, everyone is here for a specific purpose. And in your specific area, you are powerful. You are unlimited. But you must understand the systems and the channels of divine authority. That is my message today. The systems and the channels of divine authority. Divine authority works by divine appointment. You cannot appoint yourself to something and expect God to come and rubber stamp it. It starts with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are called to something and you hit the call and you accept it and you take that position then God is obligated. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Some people they don't have faith in their leaders because there are some creatures that operate in the framework of the church to cause people to doubt the people who can deliver them until they have no faith in them. And then when you are surrounded by yourself, you are eaten and finished without calling for help. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So, write the subject. The systems and the channels of divine authority. In divine service, it is necessary to know and to understand and to acknowledge the systems and the channels of divine authority. In the book of Revelation, we go to Revelation chapter 2. Can we stand for the reading of the word? I am speaking to the bride in general all over the world. Because I have got a position in the bride. Can we say amen to that? Amen. The scripture here says unto the angel of the church of Ephesus. Right. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. There are seven stars in his right hand. And you are not one of them. I am not one of them. He is holding us 
power in another hand but in the right hand of power he's got seven stars which are the seven messengers to the seven church ages they are in the right hand of power that is the beginning of the channels of cooperation in his right hand he's got those seven stars seven not eight not twenty not six seven seven and the letters which is the message Comes to the messenger. These are the channels. These are the systems. If you don't accept that foundation, you are going to be wandering and you're trying to do things that will never work because you have missed the system. He's got seven stars in his right hand. Do you understand? The seven church ages. The seven churches. The gentle calling. This is the system. This is the style. This is the channel. Seven stars. And the star is the messenger. And the messenger is the one that has the message. And he is the pattern. There is an announcement in heaven. Then a seal breaks. Then the messenger, only the messenger, he catches the mystery. There is nobody, not even a Barnabas, not even a Barnabas, could to challenge or to try to put himself at the par with the messenger. Barnabas could say, I came to the faith before you, Paul. But Paul was appointed to be the messenger of that church age. You never hear about Barnabas anymore after he challenged Paul. You never get anywhere if you start challenging the messenger. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Wonderful. I'm not crazy. And Don't think I'm afraid of coronavirus. I'm not afraid of you know coronavirus. But I know there's three kinds of believers. You know, the I've hunted the lion on foot and killed it. You don't tell me about courage. But I know exactly what to do when things go wrong. When we are in a crisis like this, we want to stand behind our government that made a stand to save the lives. Not to put up some false courage and having people hang around with that mask and then people dying like flies. That's, not, that's foolishness. That's not leadership. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You that are here, you must understand the channels, the systems. There is seven stars in his right hand. And those stars, they are his eyes. And he God will not accept or tolerate or bless anyone that touches one of his eyes. These are the seven anointings that run the systems of God. Nobody must interfere with those things. Mm. Hallelujah. This is the message of the hour. There is many people that come to top up their experience in the message. When you come to the message, you come to start afresh. Amen. And then you are now in the channels. Can we say amen to that? Amen. I'm laying the foundation. Because people say, let's see what the scripture says. 
The scripture says, under the angel of the church of Ephesus, write these things, say, he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the golden candles. Mm -hmm. So down through the ages, right from the beginning of the Gentile calling, this is the system, this is the channel, this is the style, and this is God's provided way. Are we together on that? And those of you that are on YouTube and live streaming. You can see for yourself. It's been that way. We want to just pray. Let's pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank Thee for Your grace and mercy. We want to thank Thee that in these evil moments, when death is all over the place, you still jealously watch over your people. Miraculously and mysteriously, you help them. Great Jehovah, you watch over your word to perform it. We thank thee that we are still there. We thank thee, Lord, that while this was going on, we had enough time to catch up with the message of the messenger. We had enough time to catch up with the scriptures. We had enough time to catch up with family life. We had enough time to catch up with also giving our bodies some rest. St. Paul wrote to us and say, we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. Lord, whether it's a coronavirus, whatever it is, God will still harness it to make it work out his good. We know just one word from you, the coronavirus will disappear together with the record thereof. But it is up to you. It is within your prerogative. Heavenly Father, we just commit ourselves. We are happy to be back in fellowship with your children. We thank thee, Lord, for your divine mercy all over the world. May you bless the little message we are preaching. May you also open the eyes and the ears of the people that are listening. We know there's people that have been told bad things about the messenger that will not even want to have anything to do with the messenger. It is their own bad luck for listening to such things. Heavenly Father, we thank thee for those, those that are here and those that are worshiping with us. May you visit them wherever they are. May you protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. We may be seated. Amen. People that have not been able to do well in certain subjects. In school, many times it's because of the foundation. foundation. There are many churches in the message throughout the world that have not got the right foundation. And you can see that it is nothing short of confusion.com. In this country, by the grace of God, we have a solid foundation. We have a solid foundation of the systems, yeah, systems and channels, channels of divine authority. Amen. Amen. The way God will operate in the New Testament, it is then by that system. system in the Old Testament, Testament when God called Moses, Moses he was fulfilling Why is that the what he promised to Abraham. God watches over his word to perform it. And then when Moses went out 
Moses did not go out by excitement or by desire or by the consensus of the people. He went out by a divine calling. It is not what he wanted but it is what God wanted. And then God sent him to do something that looks impossible possible and unattainable humanly speaking. It only functions in the line and the language of paradox. He was sent to where he was a wanted man. Wanted dead or alive. He was wanted. But God sent him there. In other words, God can override. In my natural life, I like to be able to override. You will never see me in all these low-lying cars, no matter how expensive, how good, whether Rolls Royce, whether Mercedes Benz and anything, my style and my system it is must be a it must be a high rider it must be a 4 by 4 Stay so that i can override issues Stay if i am chased and kunyangwe pa motokar ndoda dzakakwirira kwete dziri pasitsi kuti ndikwanise kuita override zvimwe zvino and it must be 4 by 4 ino kana nga itori 4 by 4 motor and if i am if i am chased kana ndika dzingiriwa by robbers and murderers nemba vhakana zvakadaro i can choose you know, gonna the most out. awkward in Zira place. Yeah, and I, I go off the road. Do put them road. And I put all my channels. Do you some my channels? And I move. If they follow in there, they will be caught in. They get stuck. They will never be able to come out. I believe in overriding. In the Our God knows how to override. Whatever the devil has done to you, God this can still override. Moses. Moses was sent to override. Moses was override. He was going to override. I to override. Whatever systems were there in Egypt. Moses was to override. That. Can we say amen to that? Amen. And like I said before, God will not disappoint those years appointed. If He appoints you to something, if He appoints you. He will not disappoint you. But if you appoint yourself, he will disappoint you. That is why we challenge people to start with God and proceed with God. Not to say after some time, you say, Lord, we'll see what I've done for you. By my own effort. Now come and rub a stamp in. No, no, no. no. It's got to start with you. Do you understand? Are you following? In the hour that we are living, we need to be sure. Amen. Amen. We have all our people, <coughs> we put them to be, we, we ask them to be listening to the messages that are being listened to in voice of God Jefferson Voice of God Jefferson there has to be somebody like uh, like a referee. Sir, a referee. Anybody can buy a whistle. Anyone can have a whistle. But while the soccer is going on, any other whistle is just discord. discord. There has to be somebody that has the whistle, the official whistle, to stop the game, to say there is a foul, to say let's do it this way. There is coming a storm, let's stop the game. Not everyone, not like in the book of Judges, where everyone did as he saw fit. This is not the book of Judges. This is, this is the church of the living God. He has given the fivefold ministry. The true fivefold ministry is completely and totally subject to the messenger of the hour. Fivefold ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The true fivefold ministry. Fivefold ministry. 
It is part Amen. of the system of the message. message of the messenger. What am I saying? When God sent Moses, Moses, he then called Aaron to have a priesthood. The purpose of the priest was not to add anything to the most message of Moses. Or to challenge Moses. It was to implement and explain to the people the message of Moses. Do you understand? When Aaron, Aaron really seeing that he was getting as many amens as Moses was, he decided to take on Moses head on. And God had it. God still hears. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm not a cheap African. No, no, no. Perhaps. No. I'm not one of those that go overseas to beg. No, no, I don't do that. I, I go up there to beg. Do you know no matter? I pray. I, I pray and say, Lord, I want this, this, this. Lest I become a slave of somebody. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. These are principles. My principles are. These are systems. These are channels. Mikana. Moses. Moses. God will speak to Moses lip to ear. When Moses went before Pharaoh, Moses was speaking in Hebrew. Moses you understand? And Aaron, you know Aaron, because he was so much among the Egyptians, he was speaking to them in the Egyptian language. You understand? So right from the start, the priesthood was supposed to interpret the message to the people. Not to add, not to subject, but to interpret. Amen. So the fivefold ministry comes that way. Brothers, these are the systems and channels. Ama systems and channels. And and God stood behind those Levites. Then God had appointed Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Eliaza, Eliaza, and the other people of the same family. They did not like it. They tried to overturn it. What happened to them? It's what happens today. Even today, when truly somebody is called to be something in the fivefold ministry, it's God doing it. If you don't like Him, that's not a problem. But leave Him alone. You can't disappoint what God has appointed. Some people that have suffered a lot of casualties and perished in the message. They try to upset God's system. And people tested and went into sin that they have never dreamt that, that sin can be committed. Hallelujah. So when God comes and says, Who are you? Who made you my advisor? God says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. He said, no, Lord, you have made a mistake. Listen to this. When Jacob was about to go, he said, Joseph, come, bring your children. Bring your boys. To bless them. And Joseph, Joseph, like any father, he set them in such a way that the right hand, the right hand, 
you understand, would fall on the firstborn. So that he will have divine authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jacob, he was now blind. Naturally. But spiritually, he was extra sharp. Brother Branham said, if I was asked, if God had to ask me, which part of your life would you want to be? Is it the first 25 years? Or the second 25 years? Or the third 25 years. Or the last one. He said I'll take the last one. Because by then I have all. I now know all these things. Jacob. Jacob. When people are really aged in the message. They have seen things. Over. And over. And over. Again and again and again. Watch everyone that went against the messenger either in his word or indeed or by inference. Watch what has become of them. Amen. It's because the scripture says that in his right hand those seven stars. There the other scripture says they are the eyes of the Lord. Jehovah. Mm. Hallelujah. Can I say something more? Moses, Moses he worked in the line of duty. When he had done all that he should do, Pharaoh finally let them go. But when they were going, there was a well-known route from Egypt to Canaan on dry ground. And everyone was expecting to go that route. But much to their surprise, Moses who was following the pillar of fire is not everyone who was seeing the pillar of fire. There's people who can see what you can't see. There's people who know what you cannot know. There's people that are what you cannot be. Even you, what you are, there are other people who cannot be that. Paul just said, look, I am what I am by the grace of God. You are what you are by the grace of God. Moses was what he was by the grace of God. And Moses, as everyone was expecting them, they said, no, we have traveled this, this route before. They knew it. But Moses said, this way. Let's go this way. Huh. There was memory. Now what's, now what's this? Are we kindergarten kind of children? Are we, are we little children? We know where Canaan is. It's this way. And when they tried to come to say, Mr. Moses, okay, Joshua said, hey, hey, Moses, stop hey. there. Don't come near the man of God. <laughs> but, but the man is wrong. But, but, so, oh, no, no, the man of God don't do wrong. Mm -hmm. God is leading him. Mm -hmm. said, but we, are, we can see. But it's God God gave us the eyes. We don't need, we don't need a microscope to see. We know where the road is. There's a natural road. Then they say divine. Lord. Can we say amen to that? Amen. And then already there was even the women. Some of the women. I'm saying 
by accepting somebody to be your husband by your own choice. You have accepted him to be your head. Don't harass him. Don't make his job hard. Don't frustrate him. Pray for him. You hear that? And then, much to the delight of the unbelievers, when they hit the Red Sea, they said, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you this man is washed up. The anointing left him. Look at where he had come. And there were big waves. <coughs> And, and much to their delight. Here comes Vero. Who are these that were delighted? They are those people who had been forced to come out of Egypt. They were saying, they were saying honestly, I don't see anything wrong with Egypt. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with Egypt. <laughs> In fact, that Canaan we visited, you know, it's not as it's not as good as Egypt. They were saying it. Why to trust? Why to That is reasoning. And then as Pharaoh was coming, they were saying, "Now I told you." <laughs> they had little secrets they were carrying. So that when Pharaoh would come. The, when he go to them, they would pull out a bull and say, no, we are yours. Can't right. you see the right. Egyptian God here? Yeah. We've got your things. We are the, still the, 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 yours. The, 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 it's the, just the, 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 this Moses and uh, Joshua. Moses and Joshua. They were delighted to hear that Pharaoh was coming. But the are true believers, As the they were one. crying and saying, Moses, right. Moses, Moses, What's going, to, what's going to happen so, to us? Sh 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 then Moses said, be still. The Egyptians that you see now, you shall see them no more. He spoke in the revelation of his faith. He did not plan to speak like that. In your course of duty, in your line of duty, it is your line where the channel of inspiration comes. Amen. And when inspiration comes, unlimited power comes upon you. He spoke in the revelation of his faith. Even you can speak in the revelation of your faith. You can bind the devil. You can bind the mamba. You can bind the coronavirus. You can bind a disease. You can bind anything in your line of duty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let me give you a testimony. My daughter Ruth living in Canada, working somewhere. The company she was working for, they insisted that they be coming to work. Other people were working from home. And it was very dangerous. Then something went very wrong. She was attacked by that coronavirus my daughter, Ruth. my daughter Tino the older Tino. sister they are in the, in the same city when all the signs were showing where it was going Tino was making food for her to come and leave it by the door oh, she see and go back to her house and she was now having chest pains and she before. was very much down she called me. And I said, listen, when you were born, you were dedicated to the Lord. You have a covenant. There is protection upon you. The devil Satan. has every right to hate you and every right to try what he is doing. But you have every right to refuse all that. And I prayed for her and I said, Ruth, 
I want you to take, take the message, the, the testimony of Brother Billy Paul. That he preached in, uh, in Canada. And was giving the testimonies. Because he's a living testimony. Who saw that angel of the Lord. And who was there when the testimonies were happening. Put on that one. And go through and let it be plain. And watch it. The next morning, the devil was thoroughly deceived, thoroughly defeated. Everything was gone. She called us and said, We have won. It's all gone. Nothing. If you listen to Brother Billy Paul's testimony, that little demon that's trying to bully you, God, run away from that. Because he's very Lord, powerful. A man who was Simba. there. When the angel of the Lord would come into the room. Jehovah, back, oh, yeah, and brother Branham, brother Branham. Would speak to the angel. Uh, can, can my boys see you? And, and the angel the said, said Billy can see me. Mutuma, but Billy, but not the other one. As you, you are the one. That God will let see what other people will not see. Be careful. Be careful. When you deal with those people that are in that category, because people don't enter that category by choice, but they are brought into it for a purpose. Glory. Thank you, Lord. They are brought in for a purpose. These things are a reality. If you go through those testimonies, and Billy Paul is much alive. He's still there. He's still there. Who was there? When Brother Branham was doing all these things, he would be there watching. And, and Brother Branham, when he, because of the visions, when he's about to pass out, Billy Paul would get him out. God, God really stands with you in your line of duty. And yet, Brother Billy Paul believes the message just the way you believe it. He never claims anything. Don't claim nothing. And God will give you a long life. And God will give you the desires of your heart. And you'll see your enemies defeated one by one. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When things become very, very serious, you have to take serious positions and the serious steps. You know, the fear, the fear of this thing, not, the fear of this coronavirus is not unfounded. It's a killer. It has brought America the superpower right on their knees. Yado neza America superpower pa ma vi. Until they also have mass graves there. Kuchikra ne iko koku ne ma kuwa e isa wa noka wanda. It's a terrible thing. Chino jaga ipa. But ah see when you hold on to God's word. Ba uno bata ba shokura mwa. God. God never abandons his word. Mwari ambo si shokura ke. His word of promise. Shokura ke revimbi so. God will really is obligated to his word. Listen to this. Jesus said, I have seen the enemy. I've seen Satan fall like lightning. I've seen it. When this coronavirus came, God saw it. Coronavirus. And he said, I've seen the enemy come like a coronavirus. Behold, I've given you power Simba. to tread Rekutsika. on serpents and scorpions and, and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It applies. Zino Shanda. Do you know you have got a promise in Psalms 103? That God will honor with long life. With long life, he will, he will honor you. And yet, right now, Japanese who don't even worship God, they are living to 100 years. This is scripture in Psalms 92. 
with long life Neupenye will I satisfy him and show him my salvation in Psalm chapter 1 in Psalm chapter 91 long life you have promised long life one another day I was with my wife in the car a sister found me and her daughter her daughter was under a terrible attack she was very sick and she had a stroke and the mouth went on the side then she had a dream and in the dream somebody had put a hood over her a hood like, a, like the sign of death that angel of death the hood she Amen. She she like that. and the family was trembling I was with my wife in the car I said what and challenge that thing there is say there is a promise we have believed the message he sent we have done what we must do here are the promises Satan wants to humiliate us we refuse that we rebuked it completely the next morning the phone rang completely reversed Everything finished. She will give a, she will give a testimony. Here. Brothers and sisters, these things are real. The power is there, we have it. But there are channels. The channels. If you say I'm not going to call anyone because I want a personal testimony, that is not the right channel. The Bible says, Is anyone sick? Call the elders. Amen. Yeah. He says, call the elders. Said, but I can pray for myself. Wrong channel. Uh, channel Is any sick among you? Let him call the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. That's the channel. channel said, ah, but I can pray for myself. You are in the wrong channel. channel Amen. Mm. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we see God bringing joy back to the families. To the families. One sister called me. A mother who is in the vulnerable age. She was now having a hard time. She was to be rushed to the hospital. She was choking. Amen. I said, put it on the phone. I, I prayed for her, the that elderly sister. And the thing just went away right there. Papo, papo, papo. papo. There this is there. not the time to buy green bananas. This is the time to buy bananas to eat right there. It's time to challenge the devil right there. Amen. This coronavirus is going to be in two weeks. If the coronavirus can't kill in two weeks, it has already failed. There's another brother from this church who, who got caught in that virus. He called me. I said, the cannot kind of penga Satan. Because Satan, you meant. Ah. And, and I prayed for him on the phone. He was put in quarantine. He was put in quarantine. Two weeks came. They came. They took a test. Negative. Negative. They sent him to Wilkins. Negative. Wilkins. Negative. You don't have to be lucky to see him. If you want to see him, you'll see him. No problem. What are we talking about? The scripture says, is anyone sick? Call the elders. The people in England, they call us. Tell my elders, we are elders. They recognize. Are you listening? These things are very interesting. Huh? This time of the corona, things are very hard. So people, the devil is really moving. But God is moving as well. During the corona, 
One sister from Rutenga called me. And she said, I am depressed. I am very, very unhappy. And this is far. I spent forex. The car spent the forex. And planted some uh, what do we call millet, huh? Munga. Yeah. yeah. They planted some millet with the rest of the people. Then the rains went away after after a certain time the rains just went away. And everyone grazed their cattle and their goats and she said, No, I won't graze mine. She called. And I said, Sister, let me tell you, God promised we are under the covenant. Even if He sends a drought, He will still make a way for us. He will st and I told Him that I once had a similar situation. And I asked some brothers to pray for me and God visited and things happened and I prayed for her that sister and then two days later I got a call I got a message on my phone it is raining brothers and sisters I don't think the sister has ever seen me they just know about us she knows us it started raining then the rains have persisted. She's got a beautiful harvest. She's bringing some of us so, so that we can eat. So that we can eat the testimony. Now brothers, there are some people who will not call for help because they think it's humiliating. It's not humiliating. It's following the channels. Yes, sir. Like our brother when he had missed his money. He found brother Mudoti. After brother Mudoti called. The money was found. One time a brother came. So long ago. He had, he had, he had left his laptop. At the airport. At the airport. I, I prayed and said, Lord, the keep, the keep that laptop. There yeah. are my free brother. He went there and found it exactly where he left it. He won a laptop. Hallelujah. Now, when you hear of Sister Mfuzi, she is that sister that was once prayed for by Brother Kumiso. And Brother Kumiso says, listen to the angel of the Lord, that is by, by your bed. And now that, that, the same thing has happened to her husband. So both of them now, two big fires. Yeah. Sometimes God leads you to a position where you have your own personal testimony. So that you know that he's not just the God of your father. He's your God as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. To get to this thing, to do it properly. I'm going to Go to the book of uh, Genesis chapter 16. I Genesis chapter 16. I want to strike at something. And establish something. Through the message community. Message. Right. I'm just going, we're not going to waste to spend much time on that. It's just that. Uh, it just says, and Sarai, Abram's wife, bear him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian whose name was Hagar. Don't interpret. And Sarah said, and Abram, behold, now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It, it may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened unto the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, a maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan. 
and gave her to her husband Abraham to be his wife. And he went in unto her and to Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, I want you to watch that. Now that she had her own testimony. She had her own something to hold on to. She began to look down her mistress. mistress her mistress Sarai, Sarai was despised in her eyes. When people are blessed, they may begin to look down on the authorities that God has set before them. And Sarai said unto Abraham, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid unto thy bosom, and when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. Project. Her project is backfired. But Abraham said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleases thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. In other words, she was under discussion between Abraham and Sarah. And Sarah was given the authority to use means to make her go. People know how to apply means to make you leave a job. To make you uncomfortable until you yourself say you are better off going away. It is natural. Sarah Sarah was dealing with her in such a way that she could read in between the lines. And in the silence of Abraham, she could read in between that this is a clear message that I must go. And she fled from her face. But before that, she had carefully learned how to sign Hagar Abrahams. She had that signature. And she was, she could prove that she was the wife of Abraham. Because she was carrying the seed of Abraham. And she fled. And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way of Shur. And the angel said, Haga! Right. I want you to watch there. The angel of the Lord said, Haga! Did, did the angel say, Abraham's wife? No. He said, Sarai's maid. That was her position. That was her designation. That was her line of duty. That was her line of authority. But she was now claiming something that could never be recognized in heaven. In heaven she was a rice maid. When came is thou? And whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress and submit thyself under her hands. There's people who flee 
from church with a portion to come to go and try to do their own thing because they are being persecuted. The senior pastor is unkind. Senior pastor, but the angel comes and says, Hey, so and so's assistant. assistant what are you doing here? Go back and submit. How can I submit to somebody so cruel? He's cruel, but he's in his position. Mm. These are the systems and the channels. Go back and submit yourself. She thought she had overtaken. There is no overtaking in God's channels. The things of God are ordained of God. Listen. The devil. Satan. He was once a very senior person in heaven. He was quite happy. About those that were under him. But he was not happy. About those that were above him. That is a rebel. The proper channels. My channels akanaka. Even the centurion. He said, I am a man under authority. If my bosses said, Come, I come. If they say go, I go. But those that are under me, if I say to him, go, he goes. Come, he comes. That's how authority works. If you want to operate in divine authority, be fully subject to your authorities. What authorities are we talking about? The only authority in every church age is the angel of that church age. Yes, sir. Mm. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly. That it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and thou shalt bear a son, and shalt call her name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, no matter who you are, the Lord hears your affliction. If he could hear the affliction of Hagar the Egyptian, carrying Ishmael, how much more will he hear of your affliction? We are commanded not to afflict the children of God. One sister sent me a message. She wanted to borrow. She wanted to borrow maybe $20 or $30. I said, I cannot do that. Never. I can't do that to a child of God. I sent her $900. I sent her $900 on the phone. If somebody is that desperate, asking for that, even as a loan, who are we? What have we? What have we ever done to deserve anything better? And sometimes before you even finish, balancing your books, something else comes to you. Give and it shall be given. The Bible says so. Hallelujah. Can we say amen to that? Amen. I'm going to just read a little quotation. We shall continue with this message next week to deal with it properly. But I'm just reading here. Brother Abraham says, I can think of the remembrance of the Lord again at a place of refreshment in the well called Bielarahoy, which means in the Hebrew tongue, the well of him that liveth and seeth me. 
right? It is the message remembering the Lord, of course. Hagar misunderstood, yet in the line of duty. Misunderstood, misjudged, and was cast out with no place to go, with a perishing child, and the water was spent in the bottle, and the little fellow was crying. And only a mother's heart would know what it meant to hear that cry for water as his little tongue swelling and his lips parched and a baby weakening every minute. Cast out right in the line of duty. No place to go. She had done without herself till she, she did not take any water. Till she squeezed the last drop over his little patching lips. And then the bottle was dry and she laid it down and started on and the little fellow screaming for water and he got weaker and weaker and a child and the only child. No doubt but what an innocent heart would cry out, Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? She couldn't understand to see the child die in her arms so she laid him under a bush and she went about a bow shot probably a hundred yards or more and seen a little tree and she knelt down and there she began to weep for she wondered why if she did what was right why should this thing come upon her many times we think that of our sickness and afflictions see but maybe it's all done to show grace and mercy. And while she thought, she heard the little faint cries as they finally faded out for water. She heard a voice speak and say, Why weepest thou? What are you weeping for? And she looked up and she saw the well bubbling up. What a spring of refreshment. Bielara Roy. I may have pronounced that wrong. Be, uh, so, 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 the well of him that liveth and seeth me. Him that can't die, Melchizedek, El Shaddai, him that liveth and seeth me, knowing my needs, he has remembered me. And there he remembered me as I remembered him. And I know that he liveth and he has sprung up here in the desert this well. Now, brothers and sisters, Amen. it's not everyone that has come in the same way. Amen. The Samaritan woman had come on the rough side of the mountain. She had passed through much and many. Nobody could understand such a woman. Nobody wanted such a character in their church. But Jesus left everyone else and went to Samaria strictly for that one. He let every human being be precious to us. And we try, let's try to share our message and what we know with anybody of any class, any level. Because the level in that the depth and the height of God's grace is not limited to our understanding. Who could ever thought that God would leave all the apostles that were faithfully taught by the Lord Jesus over the years and to make a messenger? Oh, he, he goes for somebody oh, yeah, no, no. not just a blasphemer but one who was persecuting unto death and forcing some of them to blaspheme but he went for him there is God God will bring to the face people that we never thought should come to the face because God says my ways are not your ways Yes. We just do what we are supposed to do. Now reading about this Hagar. Did you very this Hagar? When she went back to Sarah. Okay. She was she endured. But when Isaac was born, Ishmael began to despise. 
Isaac. Isaac. To mock Isaac. Kutukirira Isaac. Why? Why did, why did she, why did he do that? Say Ishmael Akadar. It was in him. So asiri maari to despise kunyomba and dislike nekusa what God likes. Jino dika na namari. If you want God to hate you, kana wajibari mara kuvi akuvenge. Be against his people. Rukisana neva nubake. Do you love the message of this prophet? Muno fara ere shokoro mprofita uyu. Just want to pull in just another quotation. Kain ningo isa chungu chita urwa. There is a there is a quotation that can be a little bit disturbing. A little bit disturbing, but it's, we must bring it here. That quotation. You see, the the only time I have to say this, it will be when I am preaching a message like this. Now, in case I never get to uh, strike some. No matter who you are, if you submit to God, wholeheartedly, no honesty, and you try to work in the channels and systems that God has put in place, sure as anything, you will find your own destiny. And then in your own destiny, you start to experience authority. Simba. Authority begins Simba. to be given to you slowly. As you mature, as you begin to know what to do, remembering that it was God's will for his, for the man that he created in his image to be, to be omnipotent. His original idea when he made Adam, he said, let us make men in our image. Let him have dominion. Let him have authority. In other words, it's God's will for you to find your way back to authority. So that you can operate in divine authority. Abraham lost it. No, no. Adam lost it because he rejected the word. But when you accept the word, you have started now going back to the channels of authority. Brother Branham in the message. Uh, I'm getting old now. I'm trying to quote that message. Uh, he just said, What Adam lost? Jesus is restored. Do you believe it? Do you believe you have a right to get back to where Adam was? That's what we are talking of. Fundamental foundations Amen. for faith. Foundations for faith. Anyway, here he said then, then we in fellowship, what Adam lost in the fall, Amen. Christ restored in his death. Do you believe that? To bring men back into fellowship with God. Now the church has moved up to that fellowship with God. Communion. Communion. Like Adam has. So Adam, in the beginning, Bakutanga. in the Garden of Eden, Bindreiten. taken all sin away from condemnation. Kupapapapomewa. Holy Spirit, cleansing us from all sin. Now you are free Zino to Kuka. exercise Kuka. the next step in Nano. God. What Nano. is the next step in God? Divine authority. Simbaranenga. That's how Adam was functioning. Adam. 
Brother Branham, Brother Branham, being the messenger to finalize the restoration, he really went back. Whatever was left back, all those that were left behind. Paul did not have enough time and also he had some challenges. The challenges that Paul had was his past. His past. That's why people like Barnabas. He, 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 Paul was alright as long as Paul would really listen to him. As long as Barnabas said, let's go this way. Barnabas said, yeah, let's go. Let's Let's go this way. But when Paul said, the Spirit says, I must go this way. You know why they had a little problem with Barnabas? Barnabas? It was on the person called John Mark. Paul said, let's not have him. And Barnabas, Barnabas, he says, look here, my brother. You are still new in the message. You don't understand. This man has come a long way with us. But Paul had seen but something about the man. And he said, no, let's not have him. Because he abandoned them. When they were at a certain place holding a revival. And then the man just disappeared. He said, no, let's not have him. See, sometimes People overreact. Bano, bano ita overreact. Barnabas. Barnabas. He did not know what you know. He just know that God brought us a brother who was very contentious and God brought him in here so that he stops killing us. They never realized that he was brought in to lead them. Hmm. They never recognize uh, the divine purpose of God. Uh, God simply says, Yo, my ways are not your ways. Think about it. Sometimes I get to bring in too many things at one time. But let's do this. This one, I'm just putting it in here because this is the only time I can put it in. It's from the message, make the valley full of ditches. Paragraph E51. Brother Brano, I don't do nothing. Maybe that's what's the matter. That's the trouble of it. It's more sin not to do than it is to do when you know better. That's right. He that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it's sin. You got to make ready. Doing nothing is the worst thing you can do. Do nothing about it. You southerners remember your history? When up here, when Grant was setting just across the river and he had a boy out there on guard duty and the rebels was across the river and this boy walking along there, kind of dazed around with the dreams of his sweetheart, he left his post of duty and went down to pick some violets to send to his sweetheart. He didn't mean to do wrong. He went. Then at that time, there was a spy ready from the southern army and they slipped in and they looked around. They found out that the southern army was two or three times the size of General Grants. Well, what happened? The boy came back on the post of duty, 
not knowing what had happened, but the spy had already been there. And what happened? They stormed across the river and he drove them plumb back into the state. And that boy was shot an hour later. Not because they didn't have they didn't have any objection to him picking violence. They didn't have. It wasn't what he done. It was the thing that he didn't do. He didn't stand to his post of duty. He didn't guard the post of duty like he was supposed to do. And he spoiled the whole thing. And that responsible tonight, that responsibility tonight lays at Live Tabernacle and other tabernacles and churches in Shreveport, Louisiana, God is here taking with a storm. It ain't what you are doing, then it's what you are failing to do. If we were all doing our duty, in the message, many people would know what the message is all about. Remember that woman that was like Auntie Jemima? Auntie Jemima. And that was in Memphis. Memphis. That had never heard anything about Brother Branham. Not her fault. But the people did not share. They did not even believe that there is a messenger. They just knew that he was just like their pastor, like their whatever it is. She did not know. But in a time of desperation, she prayed the right prayer. She said, I is a Shunammite woman. Where is your Elijah? And that touched God. The people had not told them about the Elijah because they did not want Brother Branham to become too powerful. He said, if you say he's Elijah, then he becomes too powerful. But if we go back to the commission, even at the river, Ohio, when he was baptizing, as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, the message to forerun his second coming, that is the commission. And the pillar of fire was there. But people don't talk about that. They say, you know, I wasn't there. Uh, me, I'm only, I'm only interested in the Bible. You see? You are refusing a true testimony. Isaiah said, who has believed our report? Brother Branham was there. Who has believed our report? A report. Report. Can we say amen to that? Amen. Now here we are told. It's not what he did. But it's what he did not do. There are certain things we must do. If you are going to ask. For extra time. In your life. So what do you want to do in that extra time? If you've got a good purpose. You say there's people. I've never had the chance to see any of my school my, my, my schoolmates. And find a chance. If you ask God for time, you say I have not testify to all the people that I can testify to. Then you can go on Facebook. Facebook. If you go on Facebook for the right purpose, nothing wrong with that. Telephone for the right purpose, nothing wrong with that. Microphone for the right purpose. Amen. But these microphones, that they use, once they use also for singing very rubbish songs. My microphone, and even the same guitars. Even these videos, there, the, the, the cameras, they are also used to record evil things. But if you, if you connect all your former classmates, you say, no, I just want to meet you. We are still alive for a long time. I want to show you how far I've come. Then you begin to talk. What about Christianity? What are you doing? How is your family? 
They may not not believe that you are washing your hands. If you are going to ask for extra time, for what? So that you can testify. It's not just what you have done. To him that knows good and does not do it, it's sin. Amen. If God spares us and this evil called coronavirus goes away completely, we want to build big churches and fill them with believers because our commission in Luke 14 is going to compel them to come because there is still room in there. Amen. Amen. I've had the three people dream. Some years ago, Brother Mdoti dreamed, dreamed of us having another big place, very big place. Then Brother Mrerwa dreamed of us having a very big place. Then another boy from Norton he dreamed of us building another big place. I would rather do that than buy myself a house in America or in England or anywhere. Can I go in England? Can I go England? She did no security. My security is my post of duty. Security My post of duty. Amen. Mm. I know many brothers that are working here in Africa, pastors here in Africa, they are seeking ways and means of securing themselves. Try to buy a house somewhere out of maybe in some other country so that when things go wrong, they can go there and live peacefully. Are you going to be able to carry your congregation with you? No. Now what if they know it that you have a place where there is no place for them? They lose confidence in you. But, ah, but, ah. So it's us who will remain here dying. <laughs> what are missionaries? Missionaries they are people that leave those wonderful places. And come to those places where there is the death, there is oh, diphtheria, there is all these diseases and so forth. And one of them when we asked, are you sure? Do you realize there is the leprosy, there is all this? He says, my family is safest where God has sent me. Your post of duty is more secure than a banker in, in America. Banker in America. Because God will protect you. If you have a desire to live long so that you can really do something for the message and for Jesus Christ, God will grant it. He's a generous God. If Japanese, there's more than 33,000 people that are over 100 years old in Japan. But they don't know anything about Christ. But you, as soon as you have it, let me go home. I'm tired. I must go. Tired of what? None of us has ever even done anything. We haven't started anything at Sata Shanga. We haven't started. We haven't preached. We haven't prayed. We have been out, we have been cast devils. We have done We are supposed to do things until things shake. When Bengu preached in Deben, Amen. crime went down by 25%. Amen. Amen. We Amen. Can we say amen to that? Amen. If God takes away this thing, it will be an opportunity for us to preach. Even in the rural area. We will do a Those who want to be negative, uh, they are negative, it will destroy them. Brother, he was just ambition. Ambition keeps you going. 
Do you not wonder? What is the secret of politicians? They don't die as those people. Those they don't pray. They don't. But they have desires. I will get there. I will get there. They want to get there. <laughs> And yes, I'm moving. No Sometimes we are going. <laughs> mm. All right. The other day, I saw an elderly man, an elderly priest. Priestita. When he was also giving a speech, a cheaper speech during the uh, National Day of Prayer. Uh, National Day of Prayer. Uh, this man, this is, man is still very much there, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you who are uh, you who are away. Kutisa, you want to run away from responsibility Kutisa, over there. Basa. When you get there, yes, you are going to rest. But you can to go. Hey, tell me, brother. Okay, yeah, I, I see you are resting. Sorry. But what, 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 what did you do? How many people did you bring to Christ? Ah, it's many, brother. No, no, brother, give us figures. Ah, some of them, I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. I Do what you are supposed to be doing. We don't expect you to be lying in heaven. Charles is many. I want this, sir. With all these things, yes, yes. with the cars, the car. to drive the somewhere. The and they say it's like a farm by Ah, we used to walk on the donkey. You know, riding a donkey, a donkey. Riding a donkey is very painful. Others used to use the donkeys as means of transport. Horses. Some horses. But you have got a tape. And there's an air condition in the car. So, sausage, sausage, you want to say everything to eat is there. That's the time. Hachipezer, it doesn't finish. Hachipezer, it doesn't finish. How oh, oh, are you, Paris? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going don't be sleep while we are preaching, you will die. What's that? Amen. You will be singing Shandra Corona, but I don't see you. The saints will say, We heard you saying Shanda, Shanda, Shandra Corona. I said, No, no, Shandra Corona. That's what the saints will be saying to you. But we don't see so it. Let's work for the crown. Like what my peta is doing in Beringwa there. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 If you can't do certain things, get, get those people who are doing it to, to have the things to do it with. Can I also go on how to do it? If you've got a player, player. all right, here is a team. Hey, but, team. Uh, There's football. somebody who is very good. Pana no go na chaiso. I no dribble or go wesa. Who is uh, able to touch? As a booty again, shoot as he can. But his shoe, he parara. He's gone. You only shoot as he can naga. But you've got a good shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shoot as Zambi. Check my you shooters. Papa, Papa, Oru kita pane pane basa i Papa. There is a lot of. She pega shooters who go say well. Who to my shooters? Could you team we win? So that we win. Amen. Ah, for people to say so, 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 so. Hey, let him do it with his tone shooters. That's not teamwork. Ah, I was up on Ah, poka. There you are. Last but not least, you the This is no question. I'm reading another quotation. The way you when you are in your line of duty, don't think the way will be clear. No! The devil can come right there to embarrass you. 
So that everyone saying that you said God called you. But how come this has happened? Moses is in the light of duty. There was the Red Sea. And when he cried to the Lord, the Lord said, Shut up! Don't cry. If I not sent you, remember the commission. Speak and go forth. Even you, in your little line of duty, you have the authority to speak and go forth. No matter how little it is, Dr. Sitole one time, he, was, he carried out an operation on somebody. And everything seemed to go so well. But then at the end, something went terribly wrong. And the boy died on the operation. operation. And the relatives were waiting very, Mama, very seriously with such joy. He thought, now, how will I tell these people? How will I tell these people? You know what I was saying, but your son is his pastor. People spoke so highly about me until people come from very far for my operations. And yes, somebody has died on the operation. Ha. He got desperate. Waited, tried to pray. Then he thought, no. Inspiration come to him that Jesus did not pray for Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And he said, what was the name of this man? Savior. Sorry? Savior. Xavier. He says, Xavier, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, come Jesus back. Christo. And all the machines went, boom. The boy came to testify in our midst. He, he came back to life. In your post of duty, you are powerful. Don't underestimate that. Amen. Came back to life. Your post of duty. Some of you sisters, there are issues that you never tell us. Sisters, Something that happens to children while you are by yourself. Then you get angry and you chase the devil. But you know, Zawati Nama Brasa, you know, Karapai. But I will believe you. I will believe you. Amen. Can we say amen to that? Amen. If you understand the systems and channels My systems of the divine authority. You can operate in it. This is the hour when those things should work for us. Not to show off. No. Uh -uh. One time we own a hand and we were going to collect a carcass. Did she not collect a carcass? An elephant, oh, elephant that we had hunted legally in Zambes Valley. Valley. And then there was a narrow place where the, the, the track was to navigate to go through. <laughs> you know, sometimes you make a terrible mistake. Brother Mdoti, Brother Mdoti, it's just in him to try to get things to happen. He got out to try to direct but he went straight to an elephant he was right close to the elephant there was nothing else but he said go away in the name of Jesus we were on that hand and the elephant went away there is things he knew that are bound but in the line of duty those things will work amen so it works. If you ever seen Joshua Nyamfuguza, you can ask him when I was in Botswana with him. Things went terribly wrong. The vehicle that had driven all the way to Botswana was refusing to start and refusing to go. We did everything the whole day until I got very, very unhappy. I left him in uh, Pastor Kitsabili and I went under a little bridge and I prayed and said, Lord, if I am not supposed to be here, I am ready to turn and go back to my country. But if you want me to go where I am going, let it go! 
And then I came back from the prayer. I hate driving. But I went there and started the vehicle. I started it. It caught on fire. And we put out the fire. I went and sat back again. And started it again. And we drove all the way from Francis Town to Maun. Not one person said anything. And that's over 500 kilometers. More than five hours. Not one person fell asleep. Not one person said the word. Everyone wondering what's going to happen. What's all this? Our God is still there. He's among us. Hagar. She, when she was desperate. And crying and saying, Look, what have I done? What have I done? They've told us we are cursed. Are we really cursed? God said, no, not by me. You are cursed by human systems. God came and said, Haga, here is the water. He is your vagina. Can we say amen to that? Amen. What about your situation? Some of you, wherever you are, can let me drop some of you that are having doors shut before you. My eldest daughter, um, many, many years ago, she went to apply for a visa to a certain country and she was turned down. She got back home. She was very depressed. And she was so disturbed. She put on my jacket. She prayed. And the next day she went again to the same place and she got a visa. Hallelujah. Glory. These are channels. Don't try to make history. The time will come. Do you know that Timothy? When Paul wrote to Timothy, he said, Timothy, my own son. And, and Timothy was so happy to be called my son by Paul. Because he recognized the mission of Paul. He recognized the commission of Paul. He recognized the anointing of Paul. It was an honor to him to be part of that. Unto Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Timothy, Timothy. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus. When I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. It is my commission as a son of the messenger of this message to charge people to teach no other doctrine. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Do you know that Timothy ended up the pastor of Ephesus? That very church. A church yo -yo. And then when Elder, you see, when Elder John, Elder John, when he came to Ephesus, Ephesus. with Mary, Na Mary, the uh, the one that was the earthly mother of Jesus. She, she came to stay at Ephesus with John. Because before Jesus went, he said, woman, here is your son. And you, son, here is your mother. And John, John took Mary to stay in their house. They were together at Ephesus. And then when Elder John went, Elder John Bagaenda, Timothy, Timothy took over that church. This idea of overtaking has never worked. Everyone must work in own in his own time, doing what he's supposed to do. Amen. Watch all the people who split churches and try to do things. They never get anywhere. Trying to make shortcuts. It doesn't work. But if you wait in your own season, it will speak and not fail. Mm. 
Now my brother my brother Madiba you wanted to do an interview with me. Amen. Take this what I have been saying. That's my beliefs. That's what I say to the message community. Those and the message community. To Boitimelo Madiba. My own son in the faith. Take this what I am saying now. And publish it to those. That think well of you. These are my fundamental beliefs. These are the systems and the channels of divine authority. May God bless you all. May we stand. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you Christian tonight you are in a line of duty trying to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and a cancer grabbed you or a death grabs you a cancer, cancer. Tuberculosis. tuberculosis whatever it is in the line of duty you have the same right that Peter had to say Lord save me or I will perish in desperation he called out and a hand reached and picked him up you have the same thing but he screamed out save me lord he heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me now save I am see that's what it is when you cry out maybe this woman mother whatever it is to her a little son or a grandson or a nephew whatever it is cried out in despair God heard then we find out that in the sinking God heard him in the line of duty he started to sink he failed no matter if you fail that don't have nothing to do with it we all fail we are a failure to begin with but we got somebody standing now with a strong hand who can reach us and take us above the water if you have made a mistake some woman made a mistake some man made a mistake some boy or girl made a mistake don't sink scream out in despair Lord save me or I will perish get desperate about it God will hear you he always hears a desperate soul that's what I'm trying to tell you about may God bless you Lord. hallelujah Wherever you are, even on the YouTube, live streaming, Amen. if something is wrong, cry out. Say, Lord, save me. Peter had said, see Jesus walking on the waves. He said, Lord, is it you? And Jesus said, it is me. He said, Lord, if it's you, bid me come to you. And Jesus said, come. And Jesus was there. And Peter began to go. But when he saw the waves, and his faith was failing, something struck him. He said, Lord, save me. The others were saying, why were you doing this? Let them say that. You see, if you are an extrovert, if you are somebody, just be yourself. God understands you. You wanted to show off. No matter what you were trying to do. But if you are sinking, call out. He will extend a saving hand. Thank you, Lord. May God bless you. Brother Mudoti. Brother Mdoti. Would you like to make some call to call to those who are on diaspora? Amen. In case there are some, and give the prayer also. Amen.
if you have a need this afternoon don't leave it any longer if you are sick I'm calling an altar call now I want you to be aware that God is right there where you are. It doesn't matter where you are right now. It's not only for them that are here. Wherever you are, God is with you right there. If you can raise your hand or kneel down Concentrate your mind towards that. You are desiring. And I'll pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are coming again to your throne of mercy. Father, the word has gone forth. Your children right around the world are kneeling down some raising their hands in the air a sign of surrendering father may you touch each and every one of them may you heal each and every one of them father you are the same yesterday today and forever many many testimonies have gone forth because your word is powerful Father, I know you are hearing this. May you touch them. May you heal them. May you grant them mercies and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, the devil is a liar. He is lying all the time. I don't care what it is that the sister or the brother has been desiring. Right now. Satan, get thee out of the way. Out of the way. Live in the name of Jesus. Let the child of God receive their desires. In Jesus Christ's name. Leave the bodies of those that are sick right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I challenge you Satan. You evil spirits. Spirits of darkness, spirits of hindrance, get, get thee out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce healing. I pronounce healing in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we want to thank you for our pastor. May you restore the virtue that has come out of him. Father, may you grant him mercies and grace. Grant him even all his needs. Even upon this congregation that are here. Even in this country. Father, may you grant him mercies and grace. Each one testify your mercies and grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Holy Ghost take over. I pray this coronavirus must leave this country, must leave these people, must leave the children of God. Touch not the anointed of God. In the name of Jesus, coronavirus, you are defeated. You must not hinder the children of God. Touch not my anointed one, saith the Lord. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we've got a doctor in here. Tina uh, I'm going to ask our brother to come and just talk to the people about 
Majority of the people who want to run will have it and not even know it. And they will not even suffer from it. But they can carry it. When it goes to someone who already has conditions, that's where the danger is. So you who are healthy, you may not know that there are people and around you with no. conditions. Yeah. Some health conditions that are within you. That are within you. Maybe the conditions those who know, they say, it doesn't Act as if you have it, and you will protect others. From others. And you act like others. Others. and they are trying to con uh, contaminate you. So, so if everyone does that, a lot of people will escape. There are people who may not even have a cent to buy aspirin. Who are among us. So knowledge of these things. It compels us. To operate with the highest of hygiene standards. And at the same time we are not overtaken by fear. If it comes upon you, you are already done. There are many who have it and it has gone past and has gone without even knowing it. Those who have known it got sick. But he disappeared in number. The number that gets to real serious extent is very small. But that number can increase because if they say 2%, yeah, 15 million. Yeah, 15 million. It means it will get to thousands. And then it will get to mass graves. Man's wife. You hear that. So, is our doctor still around? Maybe he is already gone. He was with us on Sunday. Amen. He worships with us here. Anyways, I don't go to our. So, we treat everyone with no more than a natural Wherever you are. See yourself as if you have it and you see that others way, if they have it. You protect others from you and let them protect you from them. Amen. You continue to spray. Amen. Amen. As we finish, they will no spray here. My scientists are not to tell you that you know, you know, Garam Mepo. Chaka is a vapor, you so like vapor like this or she. Sakayo, you can I just go out in the room, Mepo, that's go garo by it. Cut off. Amen. Man's way, you hear that? That end. Thank you. To Funga to dismiss the head, take the name of Jesus. Amen. To Batak, Kirina Kirina Muno. It's a habit. You need those gloves. You hear that? 
My father had a title. Uh, are you happy with what we've done? Amen. It's a good start. Amen. May the Lord bless you. But you know, Take the name of Jesus with you as a from It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then where you go precious name oh how sweet hope of earth and joy of heaven precious name oh how sweet Hope of earth and joy of heaven. Take the name of Jesus 